what is that? This is what you do when you need to get a unit running right away and don't want to wait for parts or... But uh, this is a Decatron pull dehumidifier. They're a lot more complicated than the standard uh, air conditioning. It's a brief description of what they do. Besides just having cooling, they uh, dehumidify the air and they can run in several modes. Um, and that would be the you know air conditioning the room and dehumidifying the room. And it, uh, when it's in air conditioning mode, the thermostat also looks at the humidity in the room and uh, the, the set point for the pool water temp. And if uh, the pool needs heating, it's calling for heating, whenever the compressor is running, it will put the heat into the pool water. If that's not necessary, it'll uh, and it wants to dehumidify, it'll put the heat back into the space if the space is below set point. But if it needs to dehumidify and the space is satisfied and the pool is satisfied, then it puts the water into uh, either a direct air or heat exchanger, which this one don't have, or into a closed loop, which is what we have. We have chilled water loop, actually, so it rejects the heat into that. So, uh, there's a lot of changeover valves. You got one here, got one over there. See, it redirects to where the hot gas goes. So when you're in a... There's the evaporator pool right there. So it's always, you know, removing humidity anytime the compressor's running it goes down that big drain and the drain she's been cleaning it it's just like a just like a sink drain that fitting it's a, like a basket you know in the bottom of a, like a regular sink so primary function is to remove humidity, always pretty much needs to remove humidity, so it's always going to any time the compressor is running. So basically this over here is the reheat coil, and uh, it does not need to reject uh, heat into the pool, and uh, the space temp is uh, not satisfied, if calling for heating, it will um, put the heat back into the space. This particular unit doesn't have any actual heating or auxiliary heating, so really cold days, you know, and when it's bringing in some fresh air outside, it actually has a hard time keeping up. But that's pretty rare around here this time. So basically, you now I have a lot of gas uh, bypass valves and things like that, regulators. But, so you got one there, you got one here to adjust water heater intensity. It's to calibrate it once it goes into the set point and kind of calibrate it to, uh, to heat the pool water. So, these are pretty complicated. Got a damper there, it bypasses some of the air past the uh, evaporator coil sometimes. Depends on what mode of operation it is in there. So it's it, at, uh, based on room temperature, relative humidity in the room. And the temperature of the pool, you know, it goes are the deciding factors depending on priorities of how it's going to run. So right now, the press is not on yet. But I'm going to go kick it on. I just need this thing to run. The, it seems like the controller, the HT800 controller, you know, thermostat, you know, base is bad. So I'm going to, I just, I just wired. I'm going to wire around it just to bring it into cooling mode because it's really hot down there. So kick in, I'll set that for about 80, maybe more like 81 or so. I'm gonna run it too cool in there. I have the uh, blower on all the time, which is how it's supposed to run anyway, and the uh, switchover valve wired for air conditioner mode. So, not adding any heat back into the reheat, not dumping. And, uh, that should be defaults and they're dumping the heat into our closed loop. 
we had boilers to heat up the pool, so um, they'll take over, you know, when this isn't. There's the controller that seems to be bad. Actually, I took it apart. This circuit board goes in here, and then this snaps on here. The way they set these up is you can mount the thermostat right on the unit, which I'm up on a roof right now. You can mount it on the unit so you can operate the unit from that. But then normally this comes off and there's another sub-base that goes on the inside and this bolts on there. And that's uh, in the pool room. So it doesn't have any sensors on it. The sensor is just in the return. These run blowers all the time. That's how they're designed. So I've got my five volts going to this. And uh, I'm just getting no lights, no action, no nothing, so I'm pretty sure this thing went bad. And the uh, controller here, it's got a heartbeat, even though it's real slow. I'm probably going to call the, the company, maybe even check an order on that. But for right now, like I said, I got a, a blower and uh, the air conditioning solenoid, you know, which I think is the solenoid just opens up to dump the water into the closed loop. That's, that's activated to 24 volts, and then just going through this Cat5 cable, I'll just use it for thermostat wire, over to that thermostat I dropped in the return duct. That's going to cycle the compressor. So it's just going to basically cycle in air conditioning mode. It's going to run a lot because it's hot, so it's going to dehumidify also. Anyway, so that should keep this sucker running over the next day's week or whatever it's going to take for me to get that part.